Ooh, look. Nice. I left it in for 15 minutes after I put the egg yolk. I love it how it came down here. And the carnivore spice. Carnivore Girls Creative Carnivore Kitchen. No plants. No dairy. The next level cooking show. Carnivore recipes with meat, fish, seafood, eggs, gelatin, flavored seltzer, water, and salt. From super easy to complicated. From quickly done to many hours in the kitchen. I always say everybody's body and brain are different. And you gotta figure out what works best for you. The carnivore lifestyle has tremendous benefits, healing effects, and is the best elimination diet. There are many different ways how to do carnivore. I found a way that momentarily works the best for me. In this cooking show, I'll show you it doesn't have to be boring and can be very creative, delicious, and fun. I already created so many carnivore recipes on Instagram at Carnivore Girl. And I have this never-ending list on my phone with tons of ideas. My brain is a gift and a curse. Have fun with this episode! Welcome to my creative carnivore kitchen. So today I just opened one of my 10 year experiment checks so yes today is actually christmas when while i'm filming this um so i just opened this so the checks and i thought oh well i already ate uh, some of it so i have more checks but i want to make a ground beef check spread yes and look at my pretty hat I made it myself. I'm actually super proud. It's uh, I, I love the pattern, but unfortunately it's too tight. Like I, I made it, with, actually I have a really small head, so it kind of works, but yeah, maybe I can widen it a bit, but it I made it really tight. I'm preheating the oven to 350. And um, as I mentioned here, I have checks and I wanna, uh, make a ground beef check spread. So I don't know, maybe I should 50-50, like uh, weigh it out and as much checks um, use, use as much ground beef like I use the checks. I, I don't know, but here I defrosted um, ground beef and this is a little bit of a better ground beef. It is ground chuck, 80%. So it's uh, not just the cheapest one I usually use, um ground chuck yeah that sounds good i think i was thinking so there are different ways of course i want to mix everything in here i could uh blend it i could just but i think i'm just gonna mix it up with my hands so let's get dirty you know what that means so for sure i need another oh yeah checks checks here is a recipe for checks so, and I'm just gonna hold on to the lid to do the seal test. And I even wiggle it. Whoa, well, yeah, perfectly sealed, so it's still good. So let's open it. Now you should hear. Yep, that sounds good. So those are good to go. They look super funny sometimes. So I, from this one here, as you can see, I ate all like the stuff here from the edge. Ooh, mm, so good. So I don't know, maybe mm, I can add it. It doesn't matter. Yeah, let's see how much we have. Okay. Okay, 280 grams. So let's add 280 grams of this. Or maybe you should add less of the ground beef. I don't know, let's see. So right now I have 280 grams of each, but maybe I want to add more of the ground beef because I have so much. Uh, I will see. But so the checks are salted and perfectly salted. Ground beef doesn't have any salt. So I want to add some salt. Um, let's add Himalayan pink salt. 
Okay, let's get in there. Okay, I really hate cleaning um, baking forms, so I usually always put parchment paper in it. And uh, this form is so cool, you can make it bigger and smaller. So um, I just pressed the dough in here. Oh, I added an, um, another 100 grams of ground beef. So the ground beef, there's 100 grams more than the checks. And um, so, as I said, I could have blended it with a machine, but I didn't want to. So now, of course, I have these checks pieces that I think are kind of cool. So I really just um, kneaded it with my hands, but I could make it also really smooth, but I like this. And then of course, depends um, what kind of form you use, uh, bigger or smaller, then you get a thicker bread or less thick, so whatever you want. Keep in mind, ground beef shrinks, but I don't know, with the checks, if it will shrink or not. Probably still will, but pro maybe not that much. So the oven is preheated to 350. Um, I'm gonna put it in for 45 minutes. Okay, it was 45 minutes in the oven. And here I have an egg yolk, if you wanna know uh, how to separate eggs, here is a video with different methods. And of course, um, oh yeah, and I put it in here just in case the, the form is leaking because uh, ground beef uh, has a lot of fat and water that comes out. And I actually, before I continue, yeah, you see this? Uh -huh. Oh, huh, it's getting hot. Okay, that's enough. So, actually now I could take it out of the form. So I'm going to leave it like this. So I have the egg yolk. I'm going to add just a bit of salt. I love doing this. <laughs> so, ooh, nice. And it did shrink, I see it. Okay, egg yolk. And here, mm, some spice on top. And this is my carnivore spice blend fire. Here is the recipe for different carnivore spice blends. That one here is the fire. Cool. <laughs> so if it's not all the way done, then it's not so easy to slice uh, unless you put it in the fridge and um, cool it down, then it's easy to slice again. But it's easier when it's all the way done for slicing. So uh, it's been in there for 45 minutes, as I said, and I'm going to put it back in the oven ooh, for between 5 and 10 Five and 15 minutes. Ooh, look. Nice. I left it in for 15 minutes after I put the egg yolk. I love it how it came down here and the carnivore spice fire on it. Ooh, looks nice. And then I let it sit a little bit for a while in here to um, cool it off a bit. It's still hot. So let's try it. Agüita. Mmm. Oh yeah. This is so good. Let's try the murgu, meat murgu. Mmm. Oh yeah. This is so good. So what I usually do with carnivore bread is, um, well, I eat it like that right now when it's still warm, super delicious, just like this usually without anything else. Or sometimes I put something on it, but then the rest I put in the fridge 
and then I'll eat it the next day, the day after, and sometimes I put some meat on it or some eggs or fish or I just top it like any other bread, but healthy bread, gluten-free bread, grain-free bread, good bread, delicious bread, meat bread, carnivore bread. Okay, bye. Servus. Thanks for watching. If you try out this recipe, please tag me and let me know how you like it. Subscribe, share, like, comment, follow me on Instagram at Carnivore Girl. See you next week in my next episode of Carnivore Girl's Creative Carnivore Kitchen. No plants, no dairy, the next level cooking show.